How to Manage These Five Abusive Narcissistic Behaviors. Every relationship with a narcissist comes with several forms of abuse. And in today's video, I'm going to cover five abusive behaviors that you really need to understand, stop ignoring, and learn how to manage. Because trust me, these behaviors will eventually come out. And if you continue ignoring any of these behaviors, it's only going to strengthen a narcissist's control over you. So be sure and pay close attention. The information I'm sharing here applies to every kind of relationship, whether it's a romantic relationship, a friendship, a family member, or in a working relationship. Okay, let's get right into it. Number one, narcissists will give you fake apologies. And you'll know they're fake because there's never any follow-up. Their behavior never changes. They'll just repeat the same thing they apologize for over and over again. When someone apologizes for something and then repeats that offense, it's not an apology, it's manipulation. If you're in a situation today where this is happening, stop ignoring it right away and do something about it. This is a form of abuse here, guys and you should not be allowing it to happen. It's time you hold the narcissist accountable for this. Call them out. Stand up for the truth, for what's right. And if they refuse to change, stop accepting their apologies. Because if you don't, the manipulation will only get worse. Number two, when they ghost you after an argument or even a slight disagreement. This is a classic behavior of a narcissist. And when this happens, it's their way of teaching you a lesson. How dare you disagree with me? And when they come back, and they always will, it's when they feel you're ready to reset the relationship. And they'll avoid the issue altogether. They won't allow you to discuss it any further. The reason for that is, you did or said something they couldn't defend. You brought out things that weren't true. You stuck to the facts and they can't deal with facts. When you allow this behavior, it will only continue to get worse and they'll repeat the cycle until they break you down and you just end up letting everything go their way. You'll start conforming to this behavior and go along with whatever they say just to avoid the conflict. Don't let this happen. Stick to your beliefs and your opinions. Don't allow this person to strip away your values. Number three, invalidating your experiences of them. When narcissists abuse you emotionally and you react to that abuse in a negative way and continue engaging with them at their level, they'll start telling you that you're too sensitive. You misunderstood what they said. They can't be around you when you're acting like this. And all the while, they're the ones that create all the drama, and it's just another behavior they use to control you even further. They'll gaslight the shit out of you and confuse you into believing that you are too sensitive. Maybe it is hard to be around you. Maybe you are misunderstanding them. Listen up close here, guys. It's all a bunch of bullshit. They do all this by design to get you to the point of questioning yourself about everything. When you see this pattern start to emerge, put a stop to it immediately. And once again, stand your ground and keep to your true beliefs. They've gotten you this far in life, so don't let anyone ever take them away from you. Number four, using vulnerable information against you. When they start using information about your past against you, consider this a massive red flag because whatever you told them about your past will resurface when new conflicts come up and you'll find that they have created a completely new version of what you told them and no matter what you say they'll believe their own version of the story they'll take an otherwise innocent thing about your past and turn it into something terrible and make it out to be something it never was forget about changing their mind too because the only truth that matters to them is what they create in their own mind it's time for you to remind them, your past is your past, and it's the past, and it's completely off limits from now on. 
they'll also take current situations and twist them into their advantage. They'll take everything out of context and fit it into a little box they create. So you have to be super careful about anything you share with them. Number five, narcissists are constantly moving the goalpost. There will always be something that needs to change for the relationship to move forward. Another hoop you need to jump through something else you need to do to validate yourself to them. The expectations will continue to increase until you simply won't be able to meet them anymore. They'll have you walking on eggshells towards their next goal and then the next until you just won't be able to please them anymore. It happens in every relationship with a narcissist. The best way to manage this situation is to simply say no. Tell them that goalpost needs to stop moving. It needs to be set in concrete because you're finished jumping through any more hoops for them. They need to either start accepting you for who you are or they can take a hike. Because I'll promise you this, you could win a million dollar jackpot and give it to them. Hand over your house, your car, all your possessions. It still won't satisfy them. It's just the way it is. No matter what you do for them, it will never be enough. Ever. My prayer today is that the information I share on this channel will give you ways to better manage your relationships with narcissists and help you understand what you're really dealing with here. I really hope you take this information and use it to your advantage because you should never be afraid to stand up for what you believe in. So start today. Go find that strength you used to have and get it back. Get your life back on the track you always intended it to be on, because you deserve it. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, keep looking out for those signs. Stay alert, be vigilant, be strong, be brave, and go live your best life today.